Jean Kilborn, highly acclaimed author, speaker, and filmmaker who is mm -hmm. internationally recognized for her work on the image of women, as well as the social issues stemming on mass media advertising campaigns. So you're here in Kingston today to give a public lecture on how advertising distorts and destroys ideals of femininity. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, starting with the Queen's campus, I mean, it's no secret that campuses all across North America have had negative publicity due to the consumption of alcohol. And mm -hmm. you mentioned on your website that students across campuses, campuses have been manipulated by the alcohol industry. Can you expand on that? The alcohol industry, like the tobacco industry, needs to target young people. And the reason is that most addictions start early. So the younger you are when you start to drink, the greater the risk of addiction. If you start drinking when you're 15, let's say, you're four times more likely to become an alcoholic than if you wait until you're older. And so for most of us, addiction is bad news, of course, but for the alcohol industry and the tobacco industry, it's the name of the game. Hook them early and they're yours for life. So they very heavily target young people. And what they try to do is convince them that high-risk drinking is cool, that it's fun, and that you know there are no serious negative consequences. And how do they how do they convey that just? Well, they have lots of ways of doing it. Of course, they use sex to sell the way they do mm -hmm. to sell everything. But in alcohol ads, they imply that drinking will um, make you sexually braver. Uh, they offer it to young women as a way to get out of the impossible double bind that our young women are in these days, where you're supposed to be so hot and sexy, but at the same time virginal and you know, etc. It's pretty tricky, as we all know. And so oftentimes young women use alcohol as a way to resolve that contradiction and the alcohol industry plays on that. And for example, they'll, the, there's an alcohol ad that shows a sexy woman and it says, be at least capable of bad. Or another one that says, bad girls like good company. So there's that good girl, bad girl thing that goes on in the advertising. And then they target young men by saying that alcohol will make them great lovers, which as we all know, is not the case. Shakespeare put it best when he said, drink provokes the desire, but it takes away the performance. So the actual <laughs> relationship between drinking and sex is terrible, but you know, the alcohol industry really plays on that. That's really interesting. And one mm -hmm. of the more emphasized effects of advertising, of course, is the obsession with thinness. Mm -hmm. And how has thinness become a moral question? Well, I, I think that women and girls for the past 10, 15 years have been made to feel ashamed of eating, ashamed of having an appetite for food. So that um, my friend Catherine Steiner Adair calls thinness the moral equivalent of virginity. You know, that it's become the way to demonstrate these days that you're a good girl is to be a thin girl. That means that you have your appetites under control. And the advertisers play on that too with a lot of ads that talk about um, guilt and, you know, bad food and good food and all of that. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's an awful thing because it actually so destroys the pleasure and joy that um, one should be taking in food and in eating. It just ruins the experience for an awful lot of uh, girls and women because we've been made to feel ashamed of eating, ashamed of having an appetite for food. And moving on to the issue of Photoshop. Um, mm -hmm. So currently lawmakers in Britain and France are actually trying to push advertisers to carry disclaimers on ads mm -hmm. saying that they have been altered and they have been photoshopped. Do you think this is even plausible? Will it have any effect? I think it's great. And in fact, I met with the MP who introduced that bill in Parliament in June. I went over to London and met with her. Her name is Jo Swinson. She's fabulous. And um, I showed my film, Killing Us Softly, at Parliament. It was great. I had a great time. And I think that it's, it's one step of many. You know, it's, it's not going to solve the problem. But I think it's very important for people to understand how extremely photoshopped these images are. Mm -hmm. That no one looks like this. No one can look like this. But this then becomes the image against which real women and girls compare ourselves every single day. So just knowing, you know, the label that just says this is photoshopped, it's a small step, but it's a step in the right direction. And as university students, what is the best advice you would give to all of us who are subjected to these ads on a daily basis? Support other women. Yeah. That would really be my, my if I had to say one thing, that would be it, support other women. Um, and. Uh, because you can help each other to sort of um, stop the negative self-talk, you know, all the negative self-talk that goes on in our heads all the time. And, you know, you wouldn't talk to your best friend that way, and you shouldn't be talking to yourself that way. And I think if we talk to each other 
in, in much more constructive and healthy ways, that that can, that can be a very good thing. There's a thing in the States called um, Fat Talk Free Week that's coming up where um, consciously um, we're asking girls and women to not do the fat talk stuff. You know, <laughs> I'm so fat, I didn't, yeah. do I look fat in this dress? And, and to just stop it. And what that does is it makes us conscious of how much we do that to ourselves. But I think that healthy, um, supportive friendships with other women um, for me, anyway, you know, been the difference between life and death. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a really great idea. Mm -hmm. We should try and implement that here at Queens. Yes, so. yeah, yeah. You go Google it; you'll find it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, if you haven't already, please go pick up a copy of mm -hmm. "Killing Us Softly 4, which mm -hmm. is the latest in your documentary uh, filmmaking. And mm -hmm. thank you very much again. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Mm -hmm.